Don't forget to subscribe and also like the Auto7 channel and thank you for subscribing and liking. The 2023 Honda Passport is like a steady left fielder, who makes solid plays, good catches, and plenty of base hits, but never draws attention to himself. The Passport competes in the mid-size SUV segment against more than two dozen diverse rivals, all with different skill sets. But while the Passport isn't an obvious superstar, its respectable all-around capabilities and absence of negatives lifts it into the top third of this overcrowded and highly competitive class. The two-row midsize Passport is based on the larger three-row Honda Pilot and offers all of the automaker's latest safety and driver assistance features standard. The Passport pairs the tech with a punchy V6 engine, a nine-speed automatic transmission, and standard all-wheel drive. It may not offer thrills, impressive off-road prowess, or exciting looks, but the Passport does deliver adequate power and performance, can tow up to 5,000 pounds, and is a capable family hauler. Of course, if you are drawn to the Passport but need even more room, the Passport's first cousin, the three-row Honda Pilot, is a sound alternative. Following the Passport's slight festlift for the 2022 model year, the 2023 model carries on mostly unchanged. Honda is offering the Passport in the same array of trim levels as last year, albeit with slightly increased prices. The Passport XL is our pick as the best value since it's reasonably priced, and includes desirable features such as leather upholstery, a sunroof, and a large touchscreen with smartphone mirroring functionality. All-wheel drive has been made standard on the base XL for 2023, another reason to opt for it. Under the hood is the same 280 HP 3.5-litre V6 and 9-speed automatic transmission found in the Pilot. The Passport was zippy in our testing, its ride is comfortable on most roads, and the steering pleasingly direct, which makes the it feel nimble. It also has 8.1 inches of ground clearance, enough to get you across a fair amount of rough terrain without tearing up the underside, but this is by no means a serious off-roader. It's not a bad tow vehicle, though, able to pull to 5,000 pounds. Now that Honda has made the Passport V6 pairing with its all-wheel drive train monogamous having axed the front-wheel drive configuration for the 2023 model year we expect it to receive a single EPA rating identical to that of a 2022 all-wheel drive model since they are mechanically iron. Tickle. The 2022 Passport was rated at 19 in the city, and 24 on the highway for a combined rating of 21 miles per gallon. We averaged only 17 mpg over a couple of weeks with a 2022 Trail Sport. It averaged 23 mpg on our 75 mph fuel economy route, which is part of our extensive testing regimen 1 mpg short of its EPA highway rating. For more information about the Passport's fuel economy, anyone who has experienced the interior of the Honda Ridgeline will be instantly familiar with the Passport's cabin. Despite an unremarkable design, the materials are attractive enough and the controls are nicely organized, although we'd like more knobs and buttons instead of touchscreen controls. The front seats are wide and comfortable, with a handy armrest that can be adjusted for optimal comfort. The back seat is also roomy and allows the passport to transport up to five people. There's 41 cubic feet of storage space behind the rear seat, which held 15 of our carry-on suitcases. Folding that row unlocks 78 cubes of room and the capacity to carry 33 bags total. Interior cubby storage in general is great thanks to useful bins throughout the cabin and a huge center console bin. Every passport sports an 8.0-inch touchscreen infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It also includes Bluetooth and a wireless smartphone charging pad. A 7-speaker audio system is offered on XL and Trailsport models, while an upgraded 10-speaker audio system comes on the range topping Passport Elite. A 115-volt outlet is also standard for Trailsport and Elite models. Buyers looking for Wii FI hotspot availability will have to opt for the Elite, though, as it is not offered on the low XL and Trailsport models. The Honda Passport offers the automaker's suite of safety and driver assistance technology as standard content, which includes forward collision warning, adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring, and more. For more information about the Passport's crash test results, visit the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Honda provides a competitive limited warranty, but its powertrain coverage doesn't match the levels of rivals such as the Hyundai Santa Fe and the KIA Sorento. But the Passport does come with the added benefit of a complimentary scheduled maintenance plan. Thank you for subscribing and liking the Auto7 channel.